Hi you guys, welcome back to our channel. Welcome if you are new, here with another grocery haul. This is gonna be a couple of smaller grocery hauls that I'm gonna compile. Give this video a thumbs up. If you guys like grocery hauls, that helps me know that we should keep filming these or not. Um, so yeah, we're gonna start over here, you guys, from Aldi. I absolutely love this 12 grain bread. Has, I, I'm gonna say this and you guys are gonna be like, seriously? Has anybody noticed how expensive bread is? Everything's expensive, but bread is ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. And this is 204 or 209, and it's just really good bread. So I usually buy two, split it, freeze it, good to go, and then I have it for a while. Love their taco shells. These are, I think, 99 cents, and they are absolutely so good. Anywhere else, Taco shells are like two, three dollars and change. I'm like, mm -mm, not happening. So thank you, Aldi. Um, and then Eric likes to have the uh, cashews here with the sea salt. So I got him a big thing of those. Absolutely love their refried beans. Again, anywhere else, I feel like refried beans are like two dollars and change, and they're like 89 cents. So you cannot beat that. And then we love their mints. Have you guys ever tried their like candies or mints? These are so good. Love the winter green. Got another box here of the chewy dipped chocolate excuse me chewy dipped chocolate chip bars they are awesome and then trying these let me know if you guys have ever had them the pastry crisps and chocolatey bliss they did not have any cereal bars shocking um so kind of bummed about that i really mainly went there for cereal bars and the bread but it is what it is so that is what we got at um aldi and then Main reason I went to Sam's was to get two big bags of salt for our softener system, and they did have that, so that was great. Really like no chicken, so I couldn't stock up on chicken, so kind of bummed about that. But I did get the chicken cordon bleu here to pack a six, so those can go in the freezer downstairs. We'll have these for quite some time. And I've mentioned this before on our channel, the pulled pork is so, so, so good. And it's quick, easy meal. I just really love that. And then I did get a big pack here of the 88% lean, 12% fat beef. So I will split this up. This is about five pounds. So I will split that up and, you know, put those obviously in the freezer. Glad they had that since they didn't have like fresh chicken breast. And Eric spotted these. These are chicken breast tenders. These are uncooked. And we have a restaurant around here that we like to get like chicken strips from. And one time um, Eric actually found out like what they use and it's a uncooked like chicken strip if you will so he was like i'm gonna try these let's see if they're kind of like the um it's like a diner restaurant that we get them at let's see if we like them hopefully we do it's a five pound box and it says restaurant quality so maybe it's kind of like what they use i don't know so yeah that was good i'm glad he ended up spotting that didn't go in there for that but again glad he spotted that so that is our small little aldi and sam's haul stay tuned for the rest of the hauls all right, you guys, and this will be the last of our little mini hauls. The only thing you guys will not see is a fruit tray, which was $16.99. I did spend a total of $79.41 at Hannaford. Um, but like I said, the fruit tray you guys will not see because I left that actually at my office in the fridge for a little birthday brunch for tomorrow. So yeah, like I said, $80.00 doesn't look like it. Got a two pack here of the Skippy peanut butter that we like. We ran low here on our onion powder, so I figured just get it because we are very low on it. Got a couple of bananas, picked up an avocado, did the lazy man's way out and got some watermelon that is pre-cut. Eric really likes these cottage cheese by Good Culture. It's the one with pineapple. If you've never had them, he says they are so, so good. He really enjoys them. I got two containers here of the Driscoll's strawberries. They look delicious. And then um, they kind of like tipped over their little like sandwiches of egg salad from their deli. Their egg salad is so stinking good. So when they actually have it, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to be lazy tomorrow and that's going to be my lunch. I picked up TT Boo, a couple of cans here of the Frisky's wet cat food. I wasn't sure how much she had left, so I was like, let me just grab a couple. And then I got the Hannaford brand of the fat free cottage cheese. I love having that with a salad. At least once a week we do salads for dinner and I love having that on the side. And I did just grab a couple at Walmart. I really like to get my 
uh, Greek yogurt, but they didn't really have a big selection of Hannaford, so I just went with a couple of their brand of the uh, non-fat yogurt. I have talked about this before. I love the Chobani cold brew, and I also love the Stoke, so I got each of those. I picked up one of the Simply Light uh, Raspberry Lemonades here. Absolutely love that, so good. And then also picked up some of the, um, this is Hannaford's brand, Nature's Promise, it's almond milk. And lastly, we got the Belveda Sandwich Cookies here. These are so good, the ones in dark chocolate, I love them. And then also got a box of oatmeal here. This is the fiber and protein. So like I said, $80, I mean, with a fruit like bowl thing that I got, like platter, whatever you want to call it, just doesn't really look like $80, but here we are, inflation. Give this video a big thumbs up, you guys. If you liked the grocery hauls that we just shared, don't forget to subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next one. Have a good day. Bye.